kind of <laughs> keeping us on our toes. Yeah, it's good. It's been nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Halloween two weeks away, so it's a little bit too far out mm -hmm. to have any sense of reliability from a forecast perspective. Guaranteed spookiness, though. I'm pretty sure. sure. Yeah. 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 Two weeks from now, uh, the calendar here we're looking at is kind of refreshing, more blue on it than all summer long when every single day was orange with above average temperatures. And with that, we're almost inside the top 50 coolest Octobers on record through the 17th. It's going to change though, because a lot of these days in here next week or so, they're going to be spent above average in the temperature department. So uh, squeeze all you can out of the rest of today and tomorrow. If you're a fan of the weather that we've been getting here, it's 78 right now, east to southeast wind at nine miles per hour. Oh, I want to go back and make a point about the dew point. Feels really good, right? Mm-hmm. 48 on the dew point. That is a nice feeling number with respect to humidity, not a cloud in the sky across the region. Uh, there may be a few that drift on through here, but it's very clear across the state. A few showers out toward the desert southwest. We're going to be looking toward Montana for the system that's going to just we're going to get grazed by the front with this thing. It's moving into northeastern Montana that works toward the Great Lakes. It does send a front into Texas Thursday, Friday. But by the time this front gets into South Texas, it's really going to lose a lot of its cool properties in terms of temperatures, and it's not going to change or alter uh, our outlook for the temperatures are going to stay very warm through Thursday and Friday. Not only that, but we're going to get more humidity in place. High pressure in the Gulf going to send in south winds at the surface into the weekend and then up higher. We're going to catch some moisture from a tropical system in the Pacific, so that will stream in over the weekend and we will get cloudier because of it. So tomorrow, another sunny delight. More humidity bumps temperatures overnight into the middle 60s. And with that south wind coming back, we're going to be in the low 90s this weekend. Overnight lows getting closer to 70 by Sunday morning, and that's a direct function of increased humidity. The muggy meter will be going up steadily each day this weekend not going to resemble mid to late October. It's going to feel more like summer out there uh, this upcoming weekend. Tonight, though, nice. If you like cool weather, the three C's, 56 outside, clear, calm, and cool. Uh, by tomorrow morning at sunrise, we'll have a cool morning followed by a warm afternoon of sunny delight with humidity levels remaining low, a high of 84 tomorrow. It'll be a great day on the water, very calm in the morning, some chop in the afternoon as winds pick up just a touch, 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. And then again, it's going to get warm 5 to 10 degrees above seasonal average, which is 85 degrees for today. And you see how those temperatures will be in the low 90s for the weekend. So I know we've got a lot of events. Surftoberfest, Jazz Fest, Pumpkin Patch. Um, it's just going to be warm. I don't think we get rain, so no issues there, but it's just not going to feel like it did yeah. this past weekend for the eclipse. Yeah. But still, lots and lots of lots fun, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Alan, thank you after the break.